Hello and welcome to a discussion on variance analysis. After watching this video, you should be able to compute and explain direct material and direct labor variances along with variable and fixed manufacturing overhead variances. The word variance means a difference between the budget amount and the actual amount. The budget amount is also referred to as the estimated amount or the standard amount. The difference in budget and actual cost is caused by one of two things. The cost or the amount paid for each quantity was different than expected or the quantity used was different than expected. The purpose of variance analysis is to explain the difference in the estimated and actual cost of goods sold. A variance is either favorable or unfavorable. A favorable variance occurs when the actual cost is less than the estimated cost. This gives higher profits and is a positive. An unfavorable variance occurs when the actual cost is more than the estimated cost. This gives lower profits and is a negative. The accountant must gather a lot of information before computing and analyzing variances. Actual costs are recorded in the general ledger. Standards are the estimated cost and quantity amounts stated on the cost sheet. Actual direct material costs are stated on the supplier's invoice paid by the company. Actual direct labor cost per hour is found in the payroll records. The actual quantity of materials purchased and used is stated on the inventory report. The actual hours worked are reported on the payroll reports. Let's discuss direct material variances first. Variances are related either to the amount paid or to the quantity used. The left side analyzes the amount paid and the right side analyzes the quantity used. Let's talk about the left side. On the far left is the total cost of the actual materials purchased. This is computed by multiplying the actual quantity purchased by the actual price for each one. The total amount is also stated in the general ledger. The same actual quantity purchased is multiplied by the amount the company expected to pay for one, which is the standard price. The actual amount paid on the left is compared to the amount the company expected to pay and the difference is referred to as the price variance. The difference in the actual price and the standard price creates the variance. The right side of the variance calculation analyzes the quantity used. The actual quantity used from the inventory report is multiplied by the standard price to get the estimated cost of that actual quantity used. This is compared to the estimated cost of the quantity that should have been used to make all of the units. The S in the SQ comes from the standard quantity, which is the quantity that should have been used. This is multiplied by the standard price to get the estimated cost of direct materials to actually make all of the products. The difference in the actual quantity used and the quantity that should have been used creates the variance. Direct materials has two AQ times SPs in the middle. Direct materials purchased and direct materials used is not the same quantity because direct materials can be purchased and stored in the warehouse to be used in a different period. Direct labor and variable manufacturing overhead are computed using the same format as direct materials. Direct labor and manufacturing overhead are not put on the shelf in a later period. There is only one AQ and SP in the middle because the actual quantity purchased and used is the same. The left side of the variance calculation is the amount of the difference in cost from paying more or less, and the right side is the amount of the difference in cost from using more or less. The amount on the far left is the actual cost, and the amount on the far right is the estimated cost. Manufacturing overhead does not have a quantity. The quantity is the activity used to allocate overhead. For instance, if overhead is allocated using direct labor hours, then the quantity of direct labor hours is used for the quantity. The calculation of the variance for fixed manufacturing overhead is different than for variable product cost. 
Variable product costs have to account for the fact that when the quantity changes, the total cost is supposed to change. Fixed costs do not change because quantity changes. The left side does not require a calculation. Actual cost is stated in the general ledger. The budget cost is the original estimate used for allocating fixed overhead. The left variance represents the difference in actual cost and what was expected to be incurred for the period. The right side, called applied, is computed just like all the other right sides. The actual units produced is multiplied by the standard quantity for one to get the quantity that should have been used to produce all the units made. This estimated quantity is multiplied by the estimated cost for one to get the total expected cost to make all the products. The volume variance occurs when a different amount of units is made than expected. The difference in the budget calculation and the applied calculation is the quantity of units. The SQ and SP are the same. Let's walk through an example with numbers. The information labeled as standard are the estimated cost and quantities that are stated on the cost sheet. The actual materials information and the units produced is from the inventory report. The direct labor information is from the payroll reports and the overhead dollar amounts are from the general ledger. Take a moment to review the information that is necessary to do variance analysis. Let's now use the information and perform variance analysis to explain what caused the difference in the actual and estimated cost of material. Materials purchased is analyzed on the left side and materials used is analyzed on the right side. On the left side, the total actual cost of 46,210 divided by the actual quantity given of 15,000 gives a cost for one pound of $3.08. This is eight cents higher than the expected cost of three dollars. This eight cents difference results in paying 1,210 more than expected. Paying more than expected is unfavorable. The right side analyzes the cost difference due to using a different quantity than expected. The AQ times SP is the expected cost of the actual quantity that was used. The SQ times the SP is the estimated cost of making the actual quantity of units. The actual quantity used of 15,300 is lower than the quantity that the company expected to use to make the 5,200 units. Using 300 less pounds of material than expected resulted in a cost savings of $900. Spending less than expected is favorable, and spending more than expected is unfavorable. Let's analyze why the actual direct labor cost of 239500 is less than the 260000 expected. The quantity is labor hours. A difference of 9100 resulted because the actual rate per hour paid to employees is $9.63, which is lower than the $10 expected. The savings of $0.37 cents per hour increases profits and the variance is favorable. On the right side, the 11,400 favorable variance or cost savings came about because the company actually used 24,860 hours when they expected to use 26,000 hours to make the 5,200 products they actually made. It is important to remember that the SQ always begins with actual units made. The quantity used to analyze variable overhead is direct labor hours because direct labor hours is the overhead activity. On the left is the difference in cost that occurs because the cost of manufacturing overhead for each direct labor hour is different. The company estimated an overhead rate of $7 per hour and the actual cost per direct labor hour was $6.78. The savings of $0.22 cents for each hour worked results in a total savings of 5420 
On the right side is the cost difference because, it, because a different quantity of labor hours is worked. The company expected to use 26,000 direct labor hours to make the 5,200 units of product. The fact that the company actually used 24,860 saved the company $7 for each of the 1,140 hours not used for a total of 7,980. The company spent less per hour and used less hours in total and incurred less than expected variable manufacturing overhead. Fixed manufacturing overhead is expected to remain the same regardless of how many units are made. The actual amount on the left is stated in the general ledger. The budget amount is a result of an estimated 5,000 units that will use a quantity of 5 direct labor hours and cost $12 for each labor hour used. On the right side is the estimated cost of making 5,200 units at a total manufacturing overhead cost of $60 per unit, 5 times $12. The budget variance on the left shows that the company underestimated the total fixed manufacturing overhead cost by 22,600. This should not have been affected by, by volume. The right side shows that making all the units cost 12,000 less than expected. The cost savings came about because 200 more units were made than expected. The cost for each unit is lower when more units than expected are made. After viewing this video, you should be able to compute and explain direct material and direct labor variances. You should also be able to compute and explain variable and fixed manufacturing overhead variances. Please log on to studymyaccounting.com. Practice as you learn will give you examples and steps to follow for each of the concepts discussed in this video. Work the practice test to verify your understanding. Please write out your answers and then check your answers to the answers and explanations provided. Please write them out. It will help you really get it and it will stick. Thank you for being prepared for class.